Video is a wonderful way to share science, especially environmental science, which lends itself to beautiful imagery. And the good news is the only tool you really need is a mobile phone. We're going to teach you how to make a science video up to two minutes long for YouTube. Number one, you need to tell a tight and well-planned story with a clear audience and platform in mind, or risk losing your audience. Instagram, Twitter and Facebook generally demand shorter lengths, whereas the sweet spot for YouTube is about two minutes. Unless it's a training video like this, in which case you can make it a bit longer. If you make a YouTube version, you can always edit it down later, provided you have planned for it. And that brings us to scripting. Before you film a frame, you need to work out what you're going to say and how you're going to visualize it. Then time it by reading it out loud. This will also help you to rewrite sentences that sound perfect on the page, but are impossible to deliver. Here's a standard two column script layout. On the left, you write in the visual instructions and any text you see on the screen. On the right is the voiceover. Scientists tend to bombard their audience with facts. It's much more important to tell an engaging story. Tell us in the first few seconds why we should care. Records from South Georgia can help inform on climate and environment worldwide, including places like this, even in Australia. Sea levels are changing, ice cups melting. How does that affect me? Take us through the findings, but don't dwell too much on the process. CC Search is a tool that allows you to find free material in the public domain. Your subject might lend itself to using maps, charts, or Google Earth. Alternatively, check out one of the many free animation tools on the market. You'll find some links in the description of this video. Part of your scripting process is working out what assets you need and ensuring you have the permission to use them for the copyright holders. That includes images, music and artwork. Most universities have arrangements with music libraries for royalty-free music. Now to filming. We're demonstrating on an iPhone, but the same principles apply when filming with an Android. Begin with cleaning your lens with a soft cloth. Set up your phone correctly. The format for YouTube is 16 by 9, which means holding the phone horizontally. If all the action is mainly in the center of the screen, you can later adapt for the square proportions of Instagram and Facebook. Now to filming your subject. Think first about audio. You can use the built-in mic, but remember to get up close and position the person away from the wind. Lighting's important. If shooting indoors, avoid placing your subject in front of a window or bright light. If outside, pick spots where there are minimal shadows. But at the moment, the sun has just blotted out your face again. I'll just try and get another area. Daily records from old whaling stations in the South Atlantic provide valuable temperature and precipitation data that show a definite trend towards warming. Make sure people keep looking at the camera for about three to five seconds before and after they have finished talking. It feels unnatural, but it's most necessary for the edit to have these so-called handles at either end of the shot. You'll need lots of visuals to cover the story, more than you imagine. Make sure you hold each shot for five to 10 seconds. Don't zoom in, walk in. Get a wide shot, a medium shot, and a close up for each action. Wide shots help you establish a scene, and the closer shots give you detail and visual variety in your cut. Now most of you will be shooting in a natural environment. If you're a little shaky, find a handy tree or object to lean against to steady your shots. Think of interesting angles too. Get up a tree, lie on your belly, and generally keep the sun behind you. With editing, there are various free programs out there. We're using Filmora and Filmora Go, the mobile version, because it works equally well on Androids and iPhones. It also has cool functions like the ability to resize for Instagram and YouTube, and it's relatively simple to operate. We're going to talk you through the editing process now. Learn to build your sequences to tell the story visually. Here is a wide shot to establish the scene. It's followed by a medium shot and then a close-up to give you much more detail. Once you have your visual selection in place, you can put your voice track over it, or just use the clip soundtracks to tell the story without additional narration. 
add your music and any text that you want. We suggest exporting your video in 1080p at 25 frames a second. 1080p is high definition and will give you a better result when you upload. And that's it. They're the major steps for getting your science out there.